dudes are in the lab in my house, the personal studio. Check out my little setup. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting here banging out, watching this dang Laker game. Yeah, I'm not a not a big Lakers fan, but um, I respect them. But I'm just down here putting some ideas. I got some cool little drums laid down. Um, well, I'm just trying to get something on the keys. Y'all can check it out. Or I'm just going to be running through some ideas. Y'all can see what I do. I already got the drums kicking. Uh, it's a combo of some, some sick, sick stuff going on. Uh, peep it. Well, I already laid that down. Trying to hit some uh, over here. Going to tinkle on these keys. See if y'all can check me out. check in let y'all know what I got next um yeah I don't know next thing I'm gonna post maybe doing something from scratch for y'all so I can check me out but uh but I got the same stuff y'all got just uh, a few more little gadgets y'all might not have you know this right here you know vintage keyboard I got from my mom had it so, uh move the source So I'll be joking. Actually, I got a lot of a lot of stuff that I ain't really pulled out that I would really be using. And all my guitars, I just got a few, a few little guitars. This is my weapon of choice right here. This sort of happens to be what I use all the time. It's my uh, a five string uh, Ibanez <coughs> Fender guitar. And, you know this new joint for that uh, you know that thin sound. That this is a what a Hofner bass. Same well. It's like the cheaper version of the uh, one Paul McCartney uses. Gives you this real thin, plucky sound. Uh, it's really dope. I feel like I actually got the chance to play a real one. Uh, working with Chief XL. And it's just that and the P bass, two of the sixes basses, really. Just forget that old sound. But hey, but I'll check back in with y'all later, alright? Peace.